Hi, this is Jennifer from svgcuttablefiles.com and I'm going to show you how you can use my easy design templates in Silhouette Studio 4.1 Designer Edition. There is a new warp tool that it's in Designer Edition and higher. And it's right here on this panel. If you click here, so basically you can take a word that you type out. Here I want to put Bulldogs here. Let's type out Bulldogs in all caps. Select and highlight it. Go to your text tool. And I want to use JP Sporty T for my font. You can find that font in my store. <clears throat> I use it on most all of my easy designs. So those are all consistent. Okay, and then I want to change the color of my bulldogs and I want the exact same red as it's on the design so I'm going to click the eyedropper tool click on the red and now it's matching red and I do not want the red outline so I'm going to click here on the outline okay now we need to convert this text to curves go to object oh first we gotta select it object convert to path. So now it's not typable anymore. Now I'm going to click on my design and I need to ungroup it. Come up here to ungroup. And I'm going to go ahead and select my pom-pom and group it. Okay, and now back to my text. I want to make this the length of this shape here so if I click on the shape, it's 9.5 inches wide, right up here. It's your width and height of your object. I'm going to click on Bulldogs again, and I'm going to come up here, highlight that. Oop. Highlight it. 9.5. Okay. Now I want to center it here. I'm going to click on Bulldogs, Shift, click to select both Bulldogs and the shape. And then I'm going to go to my alignment panel and horizontally center. So now it's centered with that shape. Click off, click back on Bulldogs. Now I'm going to fit this word into this shape by clicking on the warp panel. Click on warp panel, this comes up and you want to click on, you have to have this selected and you want to click warp selected shapes. And now you get these adjustment nodes that pop up around there and I need I need some right in the center to be able to shape this properly. So I'm going to go on the columns panel here. I'm going to go up two, and that puts a some adjustment nodes right there in the center. Okay, and now we need to zoom in. I prefer zooming in, and you can click Control Plus to zoom in, or you can come up. Where is that? Oh, it's up here. I hardly ever used it, so I didn't know where it was. Zoom in here, or you can zoom out there. Okay. And I need this to be moved over out of the way. Okay, so we're going to click on this, where you get this arrow. And you're going to stretch it up. You're up to that corner. And then you're going to come down here. Stretch it down to that corner. And kind of just get it as close as you can to those lines. Fit that green line that's around here. Fit it as good as you can. can pull it up. There. Swing down. Okay. And then you have these um, handles right here. Oh, wait. Let's do the center one first. Center. Pull that up. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Pull this one down. Straight as possible. And then these handles here that come off of this, you're gonna you have to make sure, see how it's a hand now, and then it turns to the arrow. That's when you can grab it and pull it down. So it, that green line fits along that path. Do it here. 
just like that and see how this is kind of warped right here kind of going there's some handles right here and you can pull up get that as straight as you can doesn't have to be perfect but there I think that looks pretty good maybe just come up a little bit more that that looks pretty good and then there's these handles over here you can if you feel like that's off and this could but I think that needs to curve like that so that's good all right now it's still in the, the your text is perfect but it's still in the warp thing so you need to go to object convert to path again now it's a vector vector pretty much and now you have to you need to select your back shape and delete it and now let's zoom out control minus for, that's a quick shortcut instead of having to go clear up here and now that looks pretty good that fits in there pretty good and i didn't have to purchase another easy layout to fit in there so i can use any font i want i have um pattern fonts that you can use for these let's see let me type out bulldogs again let's select it i have jp sport chevron let's do the let's make it red no outline okay See, I could have used this font in there instead, and it will stretch into that shape perfectly. So that's that gives you way more options than having to purchase the easy layouts. Like, um, here's an example of the Bulldogs layouts. See, I would have had to use this one here. Let's see, ungroup, which is great if you do not have designer edition but this gives you more flexibility okay let's delete that now right here is where you put your city I always like include examples here's an example of the finished you put Bulldogs Union City in here always include examples so you know what where to put what Okay, now let's click that. Let's put Union City. Maybe over here. Select it. Let's let's choose Impact Font, and I need it to be gray because it's supposed to go here. So let me select. Oh, eyedropper. Select that same gray, and I do not want the outline. Okay, I'm just gonna select that and delete it. I don't need it there. I can kind of eyeball this. Okay, let's shrink it down a little bit here. Just kind of eye how you want it. it. Let's see. That looks pretty good. I want it to kind of stretch across the bottom of Bulldogs here. So in your text panel, down here in the character spacing, we have, yeah, right here on character spacing, there's this little slider. And if you pull it over, it extends the spacing between each letter. So you do that, and then you select it. Select the whole design, alignment panel, center horizontally. Now everything's centered perfectly. And you can nudge that up if you want. Design is done. So that's so much um, cheaper and easier than purchasing a different layout for every word you want to fit in there. If you have multiple teams, if you're a business and you set a lot of different teams and you can put any word in there you want so all right thank you for watching and if you have any questions please feel free to message me
Um, thank you so much.